All right, now to get started here, Paul, what I want to do is I want to remove some shingles around the skylight. And I want to start up high because the flashing runs up under the shingles. So how so, far up do you go, Tom? Well, I'm going to go up about three or four courses. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to pull the nails. All right, now you see the nail right there? Yep. To get to that nail, I have to go from down here, get under the shingle, and bang it under the nail. Make sure it grabs it well. Push down gently, pulling the shingle and the nail up at the same time. Now I simply bang down the shingle and pull out the nail. There you can make it look so easy. Okay, with all of the shingles removed, I see that the flashing that goes around the window, starting at the bottom, and the step flashing that goes up the sides, looked like it was all done correctly. Starting at the bottom, we then cover this first piece with a row of shingles, and so on all the way up. We need to remove the flashing so we can get at the window. This top piece of flashing right here is called the counter flashing, which seals the top edge of the step flashing. Okay, now I want to pull this one up, Paul. I want to see where it's nailed. Okay. Get this removed. We may have to cut the membrane. Really stuck down. All right, now I got to cut the membrane there. Good. Let's see if we can pull it out. There it is. There we go. What are you doing now, Tom? I'm just going to cut the membrane away because I want to remove the membrane that runs up the side of the skylight to see if I can expose the brackets that hold the skylight to the roof. We cut the membrane and then the skylight should pop right out. All right, Paul, put your flat bar in the top corner of the window frame and push down on the roof and see if the window comes right out. There it comes. Pull it right up. Oh, that came out easy. Yeah, roll it right down. All right, now I got to cut the membrane across the bottom. Okay, now we can get it right up and out of the way. All right, here's our new skylight. And there's a couple of things I wanted to do before we install it in the opening. First, I wanted to install the solar powered shade that you can open and close from down below. There's a trim package that goes around the perimeter of the interior of the window. And on the roof opening, there's this vinyl strip that covers the edge of the drywall. Now on each side, on this side here, top, other side, and the bottom, I mark center lines. Those center lines will reference off of the skylight that I put center lines on the sides, top, and bottom also. So now, when we position this in the opening, we'll line up our center lines and the unit will be perfectly centered. Okay, Paul, how's it on that side? You gotta come up about an eighth of an inch. Okay, me too. Looks good here. Okay, good. All right, I think it's gonna come this way a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That looks good, perfect, right there. Okay, I'll nail it off. So, Tommy, what kind of nails are you using? These are a galvanized ring shank nail, and they really bite into the wood. Now we're ready to flash the window to make it watertight. So the first thing we did is we put a strip of the self-sealing membrane along the bottom of the skylight. Now we're ready to install this metal flashing that the manufacturer supplies that will conform to the bottom. So we're lifting up this gasket, sliding the metal flashing under it, dropping the gasket down, and then I'll put a couple of small nails to hold it into place on the edge of the window right here. Now we're going to run some self-sealing membrane up the side of the window over our first piece of flashing. Okay, now I want the top edge to line up with the bottom edge of the window right there. Okay, now just push it right on. Now we'll peel off the paper. Keep it tight to the window. Yep. Okay. That's good. Now we'll do the other side. We're ready to install the first shingle. Slide it into position. Line it up. We install our first shingle over our first piece of flashing. 
Now we're ready to step over that shingle with another piece of flashing. I want to keep it up high so that you won't see it when I install my next shingle. We're ready for the next shingle that will step on top of that flashing. We'll line it up. You don't see the flashing, but it's watertight. So that's why they call it step flashing. Exactly. Now if you noticed, I put two nails on the edge of the shingle instead of one nail on this edge and one end on this. I don't like to nail through the step flashing. It's a chance for it to leak. To cover this opening of the step flashing where it meets the window, we're going to counter flash that. And we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up and around. Okay, that's the bottom. Now the side. It's right in that little groove. Good. All right, now we'll just screw that together right here on the bottom. Okay, now we got to do across the top. Okay, want to do yours? We're ready for our final piece of flashing, and that will fit right over the top and under those shingles. Drop it down, push down tight, and we put a screw on each side. A couple more shingles, and we're all done. Well, it's a good idea to put a drop cloth underneath this opening. A lot of debris fell. Yeah, that was a great idea. Let's see if the solar-powered shade works, Paul. There it goes. Now all you have to do is paint up that trim, and the window's all done. Mm -hmm.